Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Noodles and Company. Um, I've already ordered on the app. I'm going to run in and pick it up and uh, I'll let you know what I got when I get back. Okay, so here's what I ordered from Noodles and Company. Uh, this one is the steak stroganoff, which um, it's steak, um, cheese, and noodles, and that's it. And then uh, they have the, I ordered one of their Noodles and Company chocolate chunk cookie because it just sounded good so i'll uh, go over the prices and everything but this is what they look like looks it looks really good okay um i've never eaten a noodles and company in my life i mean it's been around forever i actually looked it up as 477 locations in the united states ridiculous never eaten here <laughs> i think it's been here for I think they've remodeled since the first time, but they've been here literally forever. So I bought the steak stroganoff and it was eleven fifty, and I ordered a small one. I didn't get the large. The large was only like a dollar more, a dollar fifty more, and it was twice the calories. So I'm assuming it's really big, but I only only needed the small one for lunch. And so eleven fifty for the for the stroganoff and the cookie itself was three dollars they also have another like snickerdoodle cookie it was also three dollars i only needed one cookie though um so my total was um 14.50 without tax or tip or whatever you want to leave so uh the stroganoff is wavy egg noodles and a mushroom cherry cream sauce sherry cream sauce not cherry sherry uh fresh herbs cracked pepper roasted mushrooms Top with a marinated steak, Parmesan cheese, and Italian parsley. Sounds pretty good. Okay, right, so I'm going to dig right in. Uh, it looks really, really good. It smells good, too. You can also get, um, you can customize it a little bit. I'm telling you what, that's, that's full of steak. From the picture they show online, I'm actually uh, more impressed than I was with the picture online because the picture that they show really didn't have a lot of steak um, like shown in the picture, but this has got quite a bit of steak in it. Um, so here we go. Hmm. That sauce is not going to be for everybody. I do not mind it. That um, sherry sauce. I keep wanting to say cherry sauce. Sherry sauce is not going to be for everybody because it's very, um, like a very strong wine-like flavor. But I think it's good. I'm just trying to get a mushroom. And I keep getting um, I keep getting pieces of steak. You can also add, um, if you wanted to, you could add more steak to this. So if you wanted more protein to it, you can get protein, uh, more protein. I actually think you're going to replace the steak with tofu, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, don't hold me to that, but I'm thinking I looked on, when you ordered it, you could substitute out a meat with a non-meat item. Oh, there's a mushroom. The mushrooms are lighter. Hmm, that's a good mushroom. It's the uh, uh, one of those really good earthy mushrooms that I like. It's really good and tender. I like it. Um, like I said, it, the sauce is not going to be for everybody. I actually enjoy it. It's not too strong for me, and I'm also impressed that there's not. Um, they didn't overdo it with the sauce, so there's not too much sauce, but there's enough to where you get a really um, good amount of flavor. You can kind of see how much is coating those noodles. Um, and their egg noodles are cooked perfectly. Hmm. I tell you what, you get a bite of the steak, which has a really good flavor to it, with a little bit of the sauce and a mushroom in there. So you get that earthiness of the mushroom and then you get that really nicely seasoned steak and that kind of, uh, that sherry kind of winey kind of flavored sauce. And it really all goes good together. What's funny is, like I said, I've never been here before. So I'd, I'd never, truthfully, I'd never even looked at their menu before. I didn't even know what they had. And um, they have like, you could just buy buttered noodles, like, like literally egg noodles with butter. And if you want cheese on them, you can get cheese on them. And then, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It kind of sounds gross with all that sauce in there. Tammy watches this girl that she doesn't talk through her whole videos. She's in Japan and um, sometimes she'll be making food and I'm like 
what's she doing? Stirring up dog food or something? I mean, what's she doing over there? And it sounds like that, that, you know, it kind of sounds like that, that's, that sound. So that, I'm sure that's what that sounded like. So I apologize. Hmm. That's good. All right. So texture wise, you know, I'll always go through texture and flavor. Texture wise, everything is spot on. The, um, the steak is cooked really well. It's good and tender. The mushrooms are nice. The pasta is perfect. I mean, you couldn't get any better uh, cooked egg noodles. You know, they're perfect. Um, the sauce, you, like I said, you may or may not like the flavor of the sauce. The sauces are at a really good creamy texture, but the flavor may be too um, strong of a, a sherry kind of flavor to you. It's just, it's just your personal taste. You know, I can't judge what you like, but I like it. It's not, I don't like a really strong, like alcohol based wine based um sauces generally but this has so much other flavors going on i do like this so so if that tells you anything that if that helps that i'm i'm happy now i'm gonna try this cookie and they're pre-packaged cookies so they're the other kind was pre-packaged as well they also sell what was it called a rice crispy wedge or something like that it's literally rice krispies in the shape of like a pie wedge um, it was also in packages uh, that were pre-made. So calorie wise, I didn't write down the calories for the pasta, but the calories for the cookie, three servings in this cookie, uh, one third of the cookie, 33 grams is 150 calories. So it's not a low calorie cookie. Um, cookie Tree Bakeries in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's where this came from, Cookie Tree. I don't think I've ever heard of Cookie Tree before, but I, I guess they're made for um, noodles and company because it's got their branding on the packaging. It's not just a, gener a generic cookie. And it's very, very soft. I noticed when I was holding the package, it's, it's a very soft cookie. It really, it breaks really easy. It's really, really, really tender cookie. Big chunks of chocolate in there. Has a little bit of a buttery flavor. Not super buttery though. It's got just a slight buttery flavor. What's sad is you can also taste kind of the flour in there, um, which is kind of like a sugar cookie kind of flavor. It's okay. This is gonna sound weird because it is 150 calories. But the flavor of it is almost like healthy flavored. <laughs> it's like it almost tastes healthy. Like they didn't use like this regular flour. All that says enriched flour. So I don't know. There's something in there that this doesn't add up to a really sweet cookie. Um so I probably wouldn't get that cookie. The other one might be fine, but as far as the chocolate one goes, unless you're really just wanting something sweet um, from here and you don't want to go anywhere else, I think I would skip the cookie and get something else. But if you're already wanting something sweet and you didn't want to go anywhere else, then try it. You know, that's all I can say. Overall, I think everything's pretty good. The cookie, I'd give a three out of five. It's just okay. The noodles, though, I really like the noodles. I'd probably give them more of a like a four and a half out of five. I wish there was a few more mushrooms in there because I really like the flavor of the mushrooms. Um, I wish there was some more mushrooms scattered throughout, but beyond that, I think it's really, really good. So four and a half out of five is really good for me for a restaurant. Um, but the cookie, I think you could safely skip. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, now that I've tried them out, I may try them out again in the future because they had a couple of different meals that looked really good. This one is back for a limited time. Evidently, it's went away for a little while. It's come back for a limited time. So if you, you can still get it, I definitely would try it out if it sounds interesting. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.